Santa Fe FIBA U-17 Basketball World Cup 2018 Over the course of the first four FIBA U-17 Basketball World Cups, only one player has recorded a triple-double. And that name might surprise some. Here is a rundown of Eldrosa Jankovic's triple-double for Bosnia. Jankovic's great game came in the classification 9-12 in Zaragoza and he collected 15 points, 18 rebounds and 10 assists to go with 5 steals against Dominican Republic on June 30, 2016. The small forward did not enter the game until 136 minutes left in the first quarter and ended up playing 30 minutes. Jankovic's stats against the Dominicans topped all of the individual performances he had until then in the tournament, as his previous best marks were 7 points, 14 rebounds, 5 assists and 2 steals. Jankovic averaged 7.1 points, 9.1 rebounds and 3.1 assists for the event. Jankovic did what others before them could not. Here are some of the closest calls, Li Jiang Yan of Korea had 11 points, 9 rebounds and 9 blocks against Spain in 2010. Czech Republic's Rado Van Kuril collected 13 points, 12 assists and 7 rebounds against China in 2012. China's Chi Zhou picked up 21 points, 10 rebounds and 8 blocks against Canada in 2012. Egypt's Ahmed Khalif amassed 26 points, 12 rebounds and 8 blocks against Lithuania in 2016. And in the 2018 edition, Puerto Rico's Andre Carbello collected 20 points, 7 rebounds and 7 assists against Turkey and had 18 points, 12 assists and 7 rebounds against China. So, who could register the second triple-double in U-17 World Cup history may be in Santa Fe? Well, besides Carbello may be doing it, France's Killian Hayes has already had 16 points, 9 assists and 7 rebounds against Croatia. His teammate, Theo Maladin picked up 5 points, 8 rebounds and 6 assists versus New Zealand. Jovan Klajic of Montenegro collected 15 points, 8 rebounds and 7 assists against Egypt. And Ali's Siriman Kanot has already had games of 37 points, 6 rebounds and 5 assists, and 17 points, 5 assists and 6 steals. FIBA